Okay, I'm going to show you quickly how to set up an essay in MLA in uh, Microsoft Office Word. Okay, um, so there's just a few uh, rules to follow. The first thing that you want to do is to set the font. And so from all of the papers that are required in this class, we need to use Times New Roman and 12 point font there. Okay, after you've set that in the font, and notice that we're on the Home tab here, you're going to go to Paragraph and this little arrow here. And your, your focus is this area that says Spacing. So all of our papers need to be double spaced. And you need to set 0, 0, double, and click Don't Add Space between paragraphs of the same style. This is the only area that you work in for normal papers. Okay, so MLA requires that you put your name, my name, uh, the class name, and so you can do any version of it. You can do ENG, sorry, ENGL 1013, or you can do English Composition 1, whatever you choose. And then for the date, we use day, month, year. So you'll put the day then the month, then the year, and then hit enter just once. Uh, to title your paper, you're going to go up here to this. So we, we operate on the left margin mostly, but when we need to center something, we, we click this. So title goes here. And then to get off the title, you just hit enter just one time. We have no extra spaces between paragraphs. Put it back on the left margin, and anytime you start an essay, you're going to tab once. Your thesis statement will be or should be, for the most part, the last sentence of the introduction paragraph. And then you would just hit enter and start the first body paragraph. Okay, and so you would do all paragraphs like that. Again, no extra spaces between paragraphs. Another important thing that you need to know for setting up an MLA paper in Word is that you'll need page numbers with your last name. And to do that, you click the Insert tab here and pick Page Number. And we're going to pick Top of the Page. And it's the right margin one. And you'll write your last name and hit a space. And you'll notice that the font has defaulted. So you have to do the font twice. Okay. And then to get out of uh, the, the header, you can just click the X there. And you'll notice that the, the page number will regenerate properly if you, if you do page number, not just header, but page number with your last name. Okay, and of course you always want to save your work as you go. I hope this helps get you started in setting up your essays, your first drafts are this week. Thanks.